The four girls soccer now down in Rutland. Number one, West Rutland against Cinderella. Number 11 seeded Richford. West side up 1-0 in the first. Peyton Gouet striking a ball from 30 yards out. Carries all the way over the goalie's head. Golden Horde up 2-0 at the break. Start of the second, Richford strikes back. Kyrie L. Dusso getting through the West side defense and pots one back for Richford. She would add a second to tie the game up as well. And with about 10 minutes to go, Dusso breaking through one more time, sliding the ball underneath the post. Hat trick for her, leading the Rockets to the championship, taking away a perfect season from Westside. We were the underdogs and we knew we could do it. I mean, we knocked out three, six, and seven. So we knew one wasn't going to be that much of a problem. I was just really excited. I knew I could do it. I just needed to be up front and uh, uh, our team did really well. D4 boys soccer final up next. Number three, Winooski against top seeded Twin Valley. Wildcats up one in the first with a penalty kick. Carson McHale Cooley sliding it into the corner for a 2-0 lead at the break. Second half, Spartans came out firing. Able to tie things up, then with two left in the half, Oliver Mathis Valario with a great run and 1-2 to put Winooski up 3-2. 30 seconds later, Twin Valley with the penalty. They convert, so we go to extra time. First extra, Spartans with a corner. The initial cross batted away, but Mathis Valario knocking in the second effort. Winooski winning it 4-3 for their third straight D4 title. After that, after that first half, you know, I was just like, I was mad at myself because I had a lot of chance that first half, but I couldn't finish. And after that, it was just, I don't know, I just blinked out and I started going crazy. I mean, we, we started off hard, you know, 8-1 loss to Burlington and then like three losses in a row. And then after that, it was just all up, all up from there.